people are off. Why? Because H to the O to the N to the E to the Y to the G, it's Honey G is still in the competition. Personally, I didn't think she'd get past the six chair challenge, but clearly, what do I know? And people were cussing on Facebook and Twitter and social networking because she's still in the competition two weeks after the show's gone live. I think last week the heat wasn't on her as much as this week because Bratavio got voted out and I think Bratavio and her are kind of seen like the novelty acts or the joke acts just there for the entertainment value. So the fact that they went last week, I don't think it was that bad that she had still stayed in because only one can go per week. Well, so far anyway that we know of. But this week it got real because Freddie got voted out and this guy is 18, he's a singer, he's a songwriter, he plays a piano, he's a musician and he got voted out and Honey G's still in there and people are complaining about that on social networking. But you know what? Props to Honey G because she wasn't even in the bottom two or the bottom three. So whatever she's doing, people are connecting and liking it and keeping her in there. So fair play to her. Let's just see how much further she can go. And people are like, how did she even get to the finals? Well, let me tell you. Mrs. O, Sharon Osbourne, didn't put her through at the judges' houses, but there was the Filipino girl, but she had issues with her visa, so then she couldn't go to America where Sharon Osbourne was, they had to bring someone in, so then they brought back Honey G, so that's how she got into the live shows, so that is how she is there doing what she does, as she calls it, shut it down. Mm -hmm. um, and another person actually, in saying that, let's actually stay on Mrs. O, because she was also blowing up social networking this weekend, because she forgot her act's name. We can forgive her for kind of forgetting where she comes from. The girl's not from England, she's not from here, so, you know, she kind of forgot where she was from. Not the biggest of things to forget or to mess up, but she forgot her name in the most important moment of this girl's time on The X Factor, the sing-off, where you want people to connect with your act, she wants people to connect with her, and Mrs O in that moment forgot her name. It was like, and we've got the, uh, the songstress from abroad, Louie Louie, who is it? Nicole, what's her name? Sarah, Sharon. Her name is Sarah from Finland. And she's actually a really good singer. I like Sarah. I think she's got a wicked voice. Hopefully, um, she can get further in the competition. Been in the bottom two twice, survived two sing-offs. Let's just see if it's going to be a third time this week coming up. And that's the thing. You know, it's really interesting now because it's the bottom three. And then there's that app vote where the public get to save one person. So they saved Ryan this week, which put Sarah and Freddie in the sing-off. And then Freddie got um, voted out because... The judges went to deadlock, so it went to the least votes, and he had the least votes this week of the show, so his time was up. But I've got to tell you, I'm actually enjoying the X Factor live shows. I think Nicole Scherzinger's looking like fire. She's looking on point all the time. It's nice to see the judges. They seem really relaxed, and, you know, it's interesting to watch. I hope you're enjoying the X Factor as much as I am enjoying my blogs. I'm going to be back again very soon and have a look out for my interviews with the acts that get voted off. This week I did catch up with Freddie Parker, so look out for that interview. He's a really sweet guy and I'll catch you lot later.